Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. A very quick video on the show Octane Viewport. Now you're probably thinking, why do I need this? Uh, I've, I'm pretty happy inside the Blender, and that's perfectly fine. But I want to show you some of, perhaps, the advantages. So what we can do here is, we can go to the render properties, we can come all the way down the bottom, and we can click on Show Octane Viewport. Now if this does not load for you, there's a good chance your license is sitting in the window behind. All you need to do is hit close a few times and then it should come up. Uh, it's a bit annoying. It does this with the Octane database as well. It's, it's tedious as hell. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, this is the viewport. Now generally, you won't use this. Uh, you'll use Blender's viewport, which is fine. Now, one thing that I find is you can actually see the passes and it makes it a little bit easier. Or I find it a little bit easier. But there is advantages to using the viewport and I'll show you a few. You can quickly copy a screenshot. So if you copy this, you can paste it into Photoshop, for example. You can save out the export. But the thing that I generally use it for is if you right click on it, you can see here, save AOVs. It actually gives you an export render passes and it's just a little bit more logistical. It just kind of keeps the interface a little bit cleaner compared to what you use in Blender. So you can see all the passes that I've enabled here and we can quickly export these out. So that's one method why I would use it. Another method is, uh, obviously you can pause renders and stuff like this and you can toggle the real time. So I haven't real time enabled here. So if we just scroll up, you can see enable real time render on the viewport. And this means these viewports are technically in sync. Now, when you close this down and you go back to Blender and you reset the view, everything will be back to normal. Uh, you generally don't use the viewport for viewing. That sounds completely crazy, but that is one method. Now, if you want to see the exact same thing as in the passes inside of Blender Octane, you can obviously use render AOV outputs. And this is probably one of the reasons why I use the Octane viewport. I just can't be bothered setting these up. <laughs> but obviously, what you need to do here is if you go to the view layer, you can change the render AOV node graph from classic render passes to the render AOV node pass. Then you come up here, you go to Octane Render AOVs. Uh, you should have a basic setup. If you don't, you can quickly add via the node tree. So you need a render AOV group that goes into an output, and we can quickly add in anything we want. So we can do beauty surfaces, diffuse, whatever. And then what we can do is we can actually preview them here. So for example, there's the beauty, uh, there's the UV coordinates. So you can get the exact same effect inside of the viewport here in Blender. It's just a little bit convoluted. I'm wondering if I could actually script it so these values here could actually get displayed. But anyway, and that's pretty much the show Octane viewport. It's not going to change your life or anything like that, but it can come in handy. Anyway, you know what to do. Take care.